Audio Jungle. Yes, 
We were friends back then. We live in the same village, but I often see him because of my hectic schedule every day. Have you had any interaction with him? And mom, but sometimes I notice when I met him in the village, he would stare at me fervently. Objection and honor. The question is irrelevant. The witness can prove either the accused did or did not stare at her. Sustain. Strike out the last statement. So, you had no dealings with him prior to this case? None, mom. I see. Miss Witness, what happened in the night of October 28, 2018? I was raped, mom. <laughs> when did the accused rape you? I believe it was about 11 o'clock in the evening. <laughs> Where did this happen? It happened in my house, mom. He entered in the main door without my knowledge but because I forgot to secure and lock it. You said earlier that you and the accused were friends back then. How do you convince us that it wasn't you who texted the accused to come over your house? Because I don't have any intention to tell any lies, mom. What was your reaction when you saw him inside your house?
stayed in the hospital until I was strong enough to go to the police station with my parents, I filed a formal complaint against the accused. If the accused is inside the courtroom, will you please point at him? It was him! He's the one who raped me! Witness is pointing a man wearing an inmate uniform. Will the man rise and state his name? I am Cyrus Awiba, Your Honor. No further questions, Your Honor? Depends. Do you have any question for cross-examination? Yes, Your Honor. Proceed. Miss Witness, are you living alone? Yes, I was alone in the house for almost three weeks because my parents were out of town. I see. You said you were living alone. Yet, why didn't you seek your to lock your door? I was so busy with my paperwork. I forgot to secure the door whether it was locked or not. Miss Witness, you testified earlier that it was 11 o'clock in the evening and you switched off all your lights inside your house when the incident happened. Is that correct? Yes, ma'am. So, Miss Witness, how did you know that the accused who assaulted you? I saw him through the light reflection outside my room. But you said it was dark and only the reflection of the light outside served as your light. So, it means that the light was limited to recognize someone. How can you be certain that it was him? I am familiarized with his bill and figures because he was my childhood friend and suitor. So in short, Miss Witness, you just made an assumption that it was that use who raped you on his basis on his body belt? No, ma'am. I also saw his face. I see. That's all, Your Honor. Do you have any direct? Yes, Your Honor. Proceed. This witness, how were you able to ascertain that it was the accused who raped you, given that it was dark when the incident happened? As I previously said, ma'am, reflections on the left of sight enough to recognize his face. Was there any distinguishing mark which would enable to establish that it was indeed the accused who forcibly entered your house, hit and raped you? Yes, ma'am. And what is that? He has a tribal tattoo in his face. Your Honor, may we ask this honorable court to make the accused stand? Well, like yours, please stand. Now, Miss Witness, can you please describe the face of Mr. Abeba? It was ugly. I will never forget that face my entire life because he raped me! Do you see any distinguishing mark in his face? Yes, ma'am! What mark is that? It's a triple tattoo, ma'am! No further questions, Your Honor? Good. Any other calls for defense counsel? None, Your Honor! No further questions, Your Honor? The witness is now excused. <laughs> With the permission of this honorable court, may I call our second witness, Your Honor? Call your next witness, counsel. Our second witness, Your Honor, is Mr. Renjon Cabahog, neighbor and also a childhood friend of Ms. Clydell Aconi who rescued and helped her in the incident happened in October 28, 2019. Please raise your right hand. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, but nothing but truth in this hearing? Yes, I do. Will you please state your name, age, address, and that, and other personal circumstances? I, Renzo Kamaho, 50 years of age. Teacher, accident of Bachelor Village. Salo sa ibabay sa Tinagat Island. Please be seated. 
Your witness counsel. Your Honor, the purpose of the testimony of this witness is to provide corroborating evidence as to the testimony of the victim to show proof that the accused on October 28, 2019, will lawfully decide by means of force, violence, and intimidation that during an attack, assault, and predicated with a private complainant against her. Proceed. Mr. Witness, where were you at the night of October 28, 2019? I was in my room, and ready to go to sleep. It was a fairly normal night. I was at my bed, reading my favorite books, my usual routine, and until the red incident, which happened at around 11 p.m. I was really shocked when I heard my neighbor shout, Objection, Your Honor. The statement of the witness includes narrative answer. Sustain. Were you alone at night or with somebody? I was alone because my parents were living in the city for years already. Did you observe something unusual on that night? Objection, Your Honor. It's speculative. Sustain. That night when you were about to sleep, I heard someone shouting, asking for help. What did you do then? I tried to find and observe where it was coming from and who it was. And what did you find out? I noticed that the voice came from the house of the victim, my neighbor, my dad, struggling and called out for help. What did you do when you confirmed that it was actually coming from the house of your neighbor? I immediately went to her house, rescued, and know the whereabouts. What happened then? It was dark inside, so I used my flashlight on my phone to serve as my light, and then I saw the accused on the top of the naked body of the victim keep on bumping her so hard. And what happened afterwards? I immediately helped the victim who were lying on the floor, naked and struggling. What then, if Amy did she say? She kept on saying that Cyrus raped me, then all of a sudden he lost her consciousness. What did he do then? I immediately ran her to the hospital and Called her parents and told what happened to her. And do you know this person whom the victim is referring to? Yes, this is our neighbor. Is he present in this courtroom now? Yes. With the permission of the court, can you please point that use? As a neighbor, were you friends with the accused? Yes. In fact, we are childhood friends. Tell us a little about the whereabouts of the accused. I know that he was obsessed with our victim and kept on courting her even how many times our victim rejected him. Do you know if the accused has been previously convicted or charged of any crime? The question is speculating in the part of the accused. Sustain! No further questions, Your Honor. Any cross examination for the defense? With the permission of the court, Your Honor. Proceed with the cross. You mentioned earlier that you immediately responded the shot of the victim the moment you heard. Is that correct? Yes, ma'am. Do you still remember what time it was? At around 11 p.m. in the evening. Did you see anybody else inside the house? No, ma'am. Because the victim was living alone for a weeks already, for the reason that, that the her family are out of town. I see. What did you see when you saw the private complainant? I saw the accused on the top of the naked body of the victim, keep pumping her so hard. Did she tell you what did it to her? 
Objection, Your Honor. It was already established in a prior question, Your Honor. Sustain. You said that the private complainant kept on repeating the accused name, and what the accused did to her is that correct? Yes, ma'am. Do you know that the private complainant fell in love to the accused? No, ma'am. Do you know that the accused and the private complainant were in the relationship? No, ma'am. That is all for the defense, Your Honor. In the direct? Not Your Honor. The witness, you will now be excused. Third witness for the prosecution. May I call our third witness, Your Honor? Call your third witness, your counsel? Third witness, Your Honor, is Dr. Jamel Baguio, the NBI Medical Legal Officer who conducted the examination on the victim in the morning following the incident. Swear the witness. Please raise your right hand. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, but nothing but the truth in this hearing? I do. Will you please state your name, age, address, and other personal circumstances? I am Dr. Jovel Baguio, 21 years old, married and resident of San Juan, Dinagat Islands, a medical legal officer of Surigao City. Please be seated. Your witness counsel. We offer the testimony of Dr. Jovel Baguio as corroborative evidence to formally testify the content of the medical legal report. Witness, what is your educational background? I finished Doctor of Medicine. From what school? From University of the Philippines School of Medicine. What license exam have you taken, if any? License of Physician. Where did you take and pass the license examinations? In the year 2015. After that, did you have any formal training, if any? Yes, I was a resident physician of the University of the Philippines, Philippine General Hospital. What further study have you pursued after medical school, if any? I pursued the residency of obstetrics and gynecology at the University of the Philippines, Philippine General Hospital and passed the diplomat exam. And after that? I was an obligatory consultant at the University of the Philippines, Philippine General Hospital for two years before I was hired by National Bureau of Investigation Medical Le Legal Division, Cagayan de Oro. As what? A medical legal officer. Can you tell us what do you do as a medical legal officer? What are your functions? I conduct physical examination report in our division in case of rape, murder, and the like. I also attend court hearings for my medical legal opinion. For how many years? For eight years. Approximately? How many times have you testified as an expert witness in a rape case? More or less 50 cases, ma'am. Did you conduct a physical examination on October 28, 2019 involving Ms. Clydell Aconi? Yes, ma'am. After you have examined, what did you do? I made a report. I am showing to you a document with a heading medical legal report. What is the relation of this document to the report you just mentioned? That is the same document. And whose signatures appear above the name Jovel? Mine. We pray, Your Honor, that the medical legal will be marked as Exhibit B and the signature appearing in this document as Exhibit B1. Mark it. Your Honor, that he may be qualified as an expert witness? Admitted. One of your findings states that the victim's hymen shows lacerations 3 o'clock and 9 o'clock positions. Yes. Will you please tell us what do these lacerations mean? A 3 o'clock and 9 o'clock indicates the position of the injury sustained by the victim in her private internal organs, ma'am. What could have this laceration you found? It could be caused by blunt object or by violence. Could it be caused by a private part of a man forced to penetrate the vagina of the victim? Yes, ma'am. How about this entry, which I call rupture with remnants of the hymen within the vagina opening? Tell us what does it mean? It simply means that the hymen is ruptured. There is a penetration of the vagina. The alleged crime was committed October 28, 2019, 
I knew you examined her in October 29, 2019. Could you tell us if the injury you found in the pregnant organ of the victim are compatible with the date of the infliction? Mom, the injuries are compatible in the date of infliction. Still, in your medical certificate, it shows that you conducted another procedure, which is a vaginal swab. Could you tell the court of your findings? The vaginal swab of the victim, Ms. Akunin, yielded the positive result for spermatozoa. No further question, Your Honor? Proceed. May I approach the witness, Your Honor? Proceed. According to your vaginal swab yielded, a positive result of spermatozoa, is that correct? Yes, ma'am. Did you conduct any test to identify whose spermatozoa was in the swab test? No, ma'am. Why you did not conduct any test? We do not, we do not have any machine that make us identify, ma'am. So, in effect, my witness, what are you trying to see as the victim was raped but does not reveal the identity of the person whose sperm inside her body? Yes, ma'am. No further questions, Your Honor. Any direct? No, Your Honor. The witness is now excused. First, first witness for the defense. We will now present the presentation of witness for the defense. Call your witness, counsel. For our first witness, Your Honor, we would like to call to the witness stand Mr. Cyrus Aviva. Court interpreter, can you ask the witness if he can understand English language? Yes, the witness can under understand the English language. Swear the witness. Please rise right hand. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, but nothing but the truth in this hearing? I do. Will you please state your name, age, and address in the profession? I am Cyrus Amigo. Live in Corapat Road, London, Block 1234. Bachelor Village, businessman, military, or single. Please be seated. Your witness counsel. Your Honor, the purpose of this testimony of the witness is to show proof that the accused on evening of October 28, 2019 was at his pet house at the time of the alleged commission of the crime being imputed to him. Did the defense have other witness in the courtroom? Yes, the butler of the accused, Your Honor. Proceed. What is your occupation, Mr. Amweba? I am a run business mom and owner company mom. How long have you been in a business? For two years mom. Being a businessman, can you detail the court your daily routine? Being a businessman mom, I wake up early in the morning around 5 then do my daily starter routine such as a personal hygiene. Work, work out and meditate before I go to my office. Hard working until 6 p.m. Then, then sometimes I feel exhausted. I will visit my favorite club for some drinking with my partner. I see. Where do you live, Mr. Witness? In the bachelor village in the located at the Patro Dundagin San Antonio's Island. Do you live alone, Mr. Witness? My partner lives with your honor. How long has he living with you? For about, for about a year now, ma'am, I think. So he always go after you? Yes, ma'am. If I may say so, it is correct that you say you are together from sunrise to sunset? Yes, it's very so much, ma'am. From the time you wake up to the time you sleep in the evening, ma'am. Thank you, Mr. Witness. Now, where were you at the night of October 28, 2019. I was at home with my butler, mom. Aside from your butler, was there anybody else with you? None, mom. What were you doing with your butler? Drinking whiskey, mom. Aside from that, what?
Mm -hmm. last sleep no. Mr. Witness, what are you trying to say is, on the night of October 28, 2019, after working in your company, you went home, ate your supper, had drinks with your butler, then went to sleep. I am correct, Mr. Witness? Yes, ma'am. Very much, ma'am. Thank you, Mr. Witness. Now, Mr. Witness, do you know the private complainant in this case? Yes, ma'am. We were friends me back then. I was fed persistent shelter, ma'am. But I really distanced myself away from her for one year because she rejected me. From this time, and I already accepted the fact that she, that she will not love me. I see. So, you have known her so much? Yes. And all this time, have you ever talked to the private complainant? I have not talked to her since I distanced myself away from her. So, Mr. Witness, why do you think the private complainant is accusing you of this crime? Objection, Your Honor, the question is security. Sustain! I will rephrase my question, Your Honor. Can you take the possible reason why the private complainant is accusing you of rape, Mr. Witness? No, ma'am. Do you know the possible reason why the private complainant is accusing you of rape, Mr. Witness? No, ma'am. Thank you, Mr. Witness. No more questions, Your Honor. Any request examination for prosecution? With the permission of the court, Your Honor. Proceed. Mr. Witness, can you tell us how far is your room to the alleged crime scene? I see. And a distance of 300 meters, would you call that far? None, ma'am. So, Mr. Witness, in that night, did you hear something suspicious? No, ma'am. Is that a normal routine for you and your butlers drink whiskey? Mm -hmm. Objection, Your Honor. Early man. Early man question. Mm -hmm. Your Honor, if I may go on, the relevance of the question will be later manifest. Objection overall. Witness the answer. We usually drink together and to talk to each other before we go to sleep. Think that's a witness. After drinking whiskey, you went to sleep afterwards? Yes, mom. Why is that, Mr. Witness? I was very drunk, mom. So, what are you trying to say, Mr. Witness, is that it is not always follow that you sleep after drinking whiskey? Not always, mom. This is all for the proof, Your Honor. Any other direct? Not Your Honor. The witness is now excused. Second witness for the defense. Do you have any witness? Your consent? Just one more, Your Honor. Call your next witness. Our single witness is the butler of the accused. Swear the witness. Please raise your, your right hand. Do you swear to tell the truth? The whole truth, but nothing but the truth in this hearing? Yes, sir. Will you please state your name, age, address, and other personal circumstances? I am Mark Anthony Villamar, 28 years old, single, resident at Bachelors Village, Black One, 2345, Inalak Islands. I am currently the butler of my master, Cyrus Abeba. Please be seated. Your witness counsel. Your Honor, the purpose of this testimony of this witness is to provide corroborating evidence of the testimony of the accused Cyrus Abiba to prove that the accused on the evening of, of October 28, 2019 could have not committed a crime rape of the private complainant. Witness, where were you on October 28, 2019? I was with my master mom, working and doing some paperwork. How long have you been working in the company of Mr. Abuiba? About a year at that point of time, mom. Mr. Abuiba inside the building in that same day? Yes, mom. I was with him the whole day. He was doing paperwork with you 
you the whole day. Is that correct? Okay, you all are misleading the question. Let me rephrase the question. What he was doing? We were doing the paperwork, ma'am, the whole day. What time did you finish drinking? Around 5 o'clock, ma'am. What did you do, if any, afterwards? As a, as a form of relaxation in a long and tiring day in the company, ma'am, we were drinking whiskey. Was there anybody else with you? Only the two of us, ma'am. What time did you finish drinking? I think it was around 9 to 10 in the evening, ma'am. What did you do after you finished drinking? I feel asleep, ma'am. You were with Mr. Aviva the whole day? Okay, you all are leading! My apologies. So, Mr. Witness, did you and the accused spend the whole day together? Yes, ma'am. You were with the accused the whole day. From the time you started working in the field to the time you fell asleep? Yes, ma'am. This is all for the witness, Your Honor. Was there anybody else with you? Any recourse examination for prosecution? With the permission of the court, Your Honor. Proceed with the cross. Mr. Witness, did you wear a watch? No, I don't. <laughs> then it is possible for you to know the time when you were asked by the defense counsel. Just an estimate, ma'am. So, you're not sure about the definite time, just an estimate? Is that correct? It's just an estimate, ma'am, but I would know this experience. Mr. Witness, just answer yes or no. Yes, it's not definite. Thank you, Mr. Witness. Now, you drank alcohol this night. Objection, Your Honor. You're really bad. I disagree with the counter, Your Honor. The purpose of the question is to show that the sentence of the witness may have been impaired due to the hard liquor that he drank that night. Objection number one. I allow question. Mr. Witness, you may answer. Mom. So, aside from the fact that you're not wearing what, you were all to bring your liquor, is that correct? Yes, ma'am. Doctor, Mr. Witness, do you think that we have mistaken in your answer to the other counsel? Objection, Your Honor. The question already assures the answer. Suspend. I will rephrase it, Your Honor. Mr. Witness, do you think that perhaps it was possible that you are mistaken in estimating the time of the events during that night? Witness, you answer the question. Yes. Moving on, Mr. Witness. How far is the block we were staying in from the scene of the crime? Objection, Your Honor. That is not part of the direct examination of the witness. That is all for the cruise, Your Honor. Can you direct? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Witness, how is it possible, even without a watch, you were able to know about the time? Mom, I grew up doing many business stuff with my previous lords. So my time estimation is always accurate because in the field of business, it is necessary. Thank you, Mr. Witness. Now, do you frequently drink liquor with your lord? Do you think you have built a resistance from the liquor you were frequently drinking? Objection, Your Honor. The question is called for an opinion of which the witness is not an expert in. Objection sustained. My apologies. No more questions for the defense, Your Honor. And then the cross. Now, Your Honor. All the witness for the defense, Your Honor. May it please the court. There are no more evidence to be presented by both parties. Now, Your Honor, for the prosecution. Not your order for the defense counsel. Order for this case, the prosecution and the defense had already presented all the respective witnesses 
and that the first state, the attention to rest in case the parties are hereby ordered to submit the formal offer of evidence within 15 days from the state of this order. So ordered, are there any more cases? None, Your Honor. This court is hereby adjourned.